now we've got the bad guy going around the screen uh, we want to uh, be able to stop the game to, to get a game over uh, when the two sprites actually meet um, and that's a little bit simpler to do than it sounds um, first of all we're going to need to make another flowchart and you can you could do this either on Pac-Man or on, or on the dragon so I'm going to make sure that I've got my dragon selected and the, it's going to go on there so if I now click on when the green flag or when the game has started um, I'm going to do some sensing again and um, this time I'm going to sense when the sprite is touching uh, another sprite in this case sprite 1, sprite 1 is my Pac-Man character um, now obviously there's nothing to actually plug this into at the minute so I'm going to need um, some kind of if statement and I'm going to choose a forever if so that it keeps looping around and asking that question so you know is it touching sprite 1 yet? No? Then carry on and it'll ask the question again until it is so when it is touching sprite 1 to get the game over I'm just going to click on this stop all and there I can link all that together so now when we play the game and the dragon is going around the maze as soon as the two meet the game actually stops now at this point I'm going to show you something that's a little bit more tricky so it's up to you whether you want to try this next bit out now um, it's to do with uh, building in procedures very similar to what we did in Lightbot a couple of weeks ago now instead of stopping all to stop the game I'm going to do something else I'm going to broadcast I'm going to make a new broadcast I'm going to call it end of game or game over okay now what that does is it shouts out as soon as the two sprites are touching it shouts out end of game so anything that might be listening like another sprite or the stage or another part of the program um, as soon as it picks up that it'll do something else so for example if I go to the stage what I actually want it to do is move to another version of the background so I'm going to copy the background so I've got um, background 2 now I'm going to edit that and I'm going to put in, make this font a little bit bigger, game, in fact, let's make this yellow to stand out, game over. You can see I can move that to the middle of the screen like so and click on OK. Now, um, what if I go back to the scripts? and I make sure that I've got the stage selected I can bring in this when I receive end of game what do I want it to do well I actually want it to change the look I'm going to switch to background background 2 at that point I'm going to stop everything from happening now when I start again and we get the game over we'll see that it pops up on the screen game over now the one thing you see that I've just made a mistake and the one thing that you uh, you need to do now is think about well hang on when I restart the game I don't want that game over to be there anymore so we're going to also have to introduce another piece of code which basically says when the green flag is clicked make sure that we are displaying background one which is our original background now you could go one step further again uh, when you go to the game over screen uh, and you could actually make the sprites disappear so to do that I'm going to click on Pac-Man 1 uh, sprite 1 which is my Pac-Man and I'm going to create a little program that says when I receive end of game I want you to hide and it'll make him disappear from the screen if you do that, you must remember uh, to create another little program to say when the game has started, you actually need Pac-Man to actually show up again. And it's also a good opportunity to perhaps put him um, and set him up so that he starts in the same place every single time. So go to um, 
if I just put that after, um, go to minus 200, minus 140. So minus 200, minus 140. And I use my x, y position there again to figure that out. So now, when we play the game, you can see that I can move around. And as soon <clears throat> as it goes to game over, Pac-Man disappears, it goes to my game over screen. But when I start my game again, I'm ready to go.